a uh, little walk and talk here in the snow. Never done that before. Jesus, bless this message. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, going to answer a couple questions. One, viewers like, how do I know I'm saved? Well, you know you're saved when you mean it with your heart. When you ask him to save you and you mean it. And then you start getting into his word. And then you start letting his word transform your actions. The way you think, the way you feel, the way you look at people, the way you look at things. You start being more Christ-like. See, you said you don't think you could ever feel secure that you're saved. Well, then you have no faith. That's what faith is. Faith is knowing God's word and believing it. If God said, if you believe, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart you're saved, then you can bet, you can bet on it. Okay? Do you have faith or do you not have faith? If you believe and trust God's word, then you live your life according to his word. You get to know his word and you obey it. You start letting him transform your life. You obey him in everything. The way you think, the way you act, things you do with your time, with your money, with everything you got. You don't exclude God from anything. You include him in everything that is a part of you. Everything. That's right. All of it. I just did a lesson that should be uploaded in a few minutes on Proverbs. Just a small one. Proverbs is extremely important for wisdom, y'all. And we have, to have, we have to have wisdom. Go watch that video. Okay, so you have faith. If you believe God's word is true, and you're doing all you, the best you can do to abide by it, means read it, study it, and live it. Do what it tells you to do. All of it. Okay, then you're walking in Jesus. You're abiding in Jesus. You can guarantee that when you close your eyes to death of this life, you're going straight to God. So, yeah. And the other thing was, uh, what was the other question? My mouth's still sore, y'all. What was the other question? Um, I can't remember what it was. Hold on, give me a second. I'll remember it. <clears throat> Be sure you're saved. Oh, God restoring everything back. Yes, God is a God of restoration. You can count on that. You can bank on that. Okay? So you said, well, I thought you said we we're going into the beast system. We are. Read the Bible. I want you people to read the Bible. Yes, we go into some pretty bad stuff, y'all. The last days is the worst anybody's ever seen it. But how does it end? The book of Revelation is the last book of the Bible, the final chapter. And it's got the best ending through the whole thing. The best ending. Why? Because God restores everything back to its original creation. He throws Satan into the pit and there all the evil that goes along with him to the pit and God restores us and everything back to its original creation. Okay? God puts you here on this earth. You understand? To learn lessons. Everything you go through is a lesson and you need to learn from it. Okay, and you can't learn from it if you're not trying to abide in God's word and doing it God's way. You're not learning nothing. Okay, so God may let your family fall apart. He allows it. Like he did mine. He allowed it. Why? To get me to do what I'm doing right now. To bring me to total surrender to him. That's why he did it. You think he's just going to leave it like that forever? No. That's why he's restoring. He's starting to restore. And the restoration process may be slow, but it's because he's still teaching me stuff I have to learn. If he gave me back my family right now, he knows. I feel like, oh, I'll be fine. No, he knows. No, it won't be fine, Kim, so I'm going to take my time with it. You're going to, you have more to learn. He is a God of restoration. You understand? He brings everything back to the, how he created it, how he does. It's all about him. He gets the final say-so. So we just hang in there. But in these last days that we're in, these last days right here, we're going into... Oh, it's cold out here, y'all. Uh, we, we learn to love Him and depend on Him and give our life to Him and live for Him. And living for Him, if you're out there not obeying God in everything, then you're not living for Him. And But then the Bible says that's most of the people walking the planet Earth. They say they do, but they don't. Are you giving God your time of your day 
to study his word and sit down and communicate with them? Are you giving him God and you time? Are you? Are you literally studying the word? I show you how to do it every day. Are you doing it because you want to? Are you? As you start seeing the things God tells you to do and you hear us preach it because he puts us here to preach it to help guide you. Are you doing the things? Are you spending time with him? Are you honoring him? Letting him change your character? Are you? Are you honoring God with everything you got? With your money? With your possessions? Are you? Is there anything you got in your life that you're not honoring God with? Then you need to change it. God comes first in everything. And until you get that in your heart, uh, then you're not there yet. It has to come from your heart. You understand? You got to have a heart for God. That's what you got to have a heart for God. When you get a heart for God, you're going to do the things he tells you to do. You have no problems. You're going to do it. You're going to want to do it. You're going to want to do more than that. Until then, you're walking in self-deception. The Bible says that's true, too. And that's most people on this planet walking in self-deception. I'm going to heaven. Do you spend time with your Bible? No, not too much. Do you help your ministry? No, nah, no, nah, man, no, nah, uh-uh. No. Nah. Do you, do you help people in Africa? No, no. The ministry I listen to does, but no, nah, man. No, nah, I can't do that. Do, do you honor God's word? The actual answer is no. No, I don't. So do you love God? No, you don't. No. But when you do love God, you want to do everything he tells you to do. Everything. You want to do all this for God. You want to. And you want to do more than just what you have to do. You want to do more. Then you know you really love God, and God knows you love Him. Okay, I hope that helped answer y'all's question. I'm going back up here, back up to my room, and get ready for my next video. <laughs> all right, God bless you all. There's a couple of you that helped out this month with our ministry. Thank you. Thank you for honoring God. Thank you for coming here and learning and growing and uh, helping us back. All right. You can go to the website, JesusDoers.com. If you need out more information on stuff or look in the description on the videos. All right. God bless you all. I'm freezing. God bless. Be careful out there, y'all. I pray for each one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. You'll be covered under the shadow of the Almighty and protected. In Jesus' name.